Um, well, then we will we'll move right to our third speaker, who is Stacey Archfield from the U.S. Geological Survey. Hi, I'm Stacey. Um, I don't have a presentation planned. Um, I'm also, like full disclosure, a surface water modeler. So, <laughs> but um, but my background is in surface water and statistics, and that's really how I interface with the groundwater modeling, at least activities at the U.S. Geological Survey. So some of the things. Um, that we have there that involve both surface and groundwater is a large congressionally mandated project to model the Mississippi alluvial plain, which is a large, um, highly uh, human dominated, I would say, aquifer. Um, and so there the piece is how do you constrain properly uh, groundwater modeling with surface water in data sparse regions um, and complex hyd hydrology, uh, hydrogeology. Um, so that's one aspect where I've been involved as an advisor and reviewer. Um, I've also been working with Lenny Konikow and Bob Hirsch on looking at the relationship between groundwater depletion and uh, trends in low flows and low flow extremes. And there, what we're finding is the confounding effects of, um, of different aspects that affect the groundwater um, depletion. It makes it very difficult to understand, to find actually strong correlations between low stream flows for the principal aquifers and groundwater depletion, which has kind of been a surprising result for us. It's not very clear that signal because other factors are coming into play, like precipitation is increasing generally um, across the United States. And so that's confounding the effects of how stream flow depletion relates to low flow extremes. So that's another a piece of work that um, I've been involved in that's going to frame some of my comments today. I've also done work in transferring information from gauge to ungaged locations, which I've always been interested in how that might um, relate to groundwater and how we might be able to transfer information where we have, we're monitoring wells, high, uh, high temporal resolution of, of monitoring of water levels and things like that and how that might translate actually to um, places where we don't have uh, such an extreme monitoring network, um, particularly for things like groundwater, surface water coupled uh, stream gauges, which we have a limited uh, set of at, from the USGS, but we could certainly look to expand that information. So um, those are some of the ways that I've been engaged with kind of my surface water background plugging into to groundwater um, modeling. So I'm going to stop there.